It is Monday, February 11th, and the White House says nothing is off the table, including a shutdown or a national emergency. It's Todd Pyro from left field. 97. Wow. Wow. Bringing back some memories. You were four years old? I was graduating grade school in 1997. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good morning, and we're sticking to that. Good morning. You're watching Fox Friends first on this. The overwhelming support for the conservative couture. Hello. Yeah. Good morning. So this is the third year that Joy Villa has mm -hmm. shown support for the president on the right. Grammys red carpet. This, oh, But no. those are uh, Trump supporters that are supporting yeah. those outfits. I hadn't well. heard of Ricky Rebel before. Uh, neither had I, but apparently uh, he has toured with Britney Spears and oh, wow. Michael Jackson. Okay. Exactly what I it was supposed it. to be oh, like. Okay. Yeah, well, yes. then they accomplished that. <laughs> You're right. Big surprise guest off the very top. Absolutely. Michelle Obama mm -hmm. surprised everybody by coming out with a few other celebrities. Here's what she had to say. We I don't know. have time to talk about it, but it was awesome. There were so many hats uh. last night, and I they kept on, you know, the shadow was covering everybody's yeah. eyes. I like, take your hat off. I want to see your beautiful face. I think she looked great, though. She did, yeah, yeah of for course. sure. All, All right, thank did. you so much. Thank you. Long night. Right. Long night. Late Very night. long. <laughs> Ooh, I'm tired. <laughs> well, the time now is about 26 minutes after the top. The conservative couture. All right, so this is the third year in a row that Joy Villa has shown support mm -hmm. for President Trump on yeah. Yeah. To say the least, uh, she, you know, even addressed the criticism that she gets year after year, and she says that she just ignores it. I bet they had no friends inside that event. I could imagine yeah. <laughs> a lot, a lot of side eyes, a lot uh -huh. of looks. I'm uh -huh. um, yeah. Not the only political statements of the night, though, right? That's right. So I watched the opening number, and I totally missed this uh, when it happened. I recognize Ricky Martin. Ca you know Camilla Cabello. Camilla Cabello. Cabello. Camille Cabello. Yes. Cabello. I do. Yeah. Oh, Havana. Uh, that, Havana, that Havana song, right? That's oh, her. We'll play it for okay, you. Yes. Yeah. We'll right, play it for you right. later. All right, and Dolly Parton. One of the best parts of the show was a tribute to Dolly Parton. A song called Red Shoes. She had red shoes on when nice. she performed it, and it was a really good song. Perfect. So she still like got a 40 it. Carly Shimkus knows, and she joins us live on the couch. Good morning to you. <laughs> good morning. I loved that Dolly Parton tribute. You loved the whole show. I thought it was one of the best award shows that I've seen in a really long time. Actually, it awards. wasn't overtly political. It was like a concert. Mm -hmm. It was a you know great issue mm -hmm. with her for uh, dressing up as the border wall. She on gets the red a lot carpet. of backlash, but she says she doesn't care. She just ignores it. That's right. That's what she said. She did say that she ignores the backlash, but it is interesting. I wonder uh, how uncomfortable or comfortable she felt wearing those outfits. I mean, this is the third year in a row that she's done it, so it does uh, work it's in brand. her benefit towards the publicity aspect. Absolutely. Of her career. Yeah. Look at us. Yeah, we're That's talking about. We're talking about. We're talking about her. All right, right. we'll listen to you on radio. Oh, please do. Channel 150. <laughs> I would love that. Okay. We will. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, coming up on this Monday, Andy.